Okay, guys, I'm back. I know I said I would start streaming again on Wednesday, but it turns out I have a lot of things to do on Wednesday, so Tuesday has to work instead. Not Might not be a di 100 gel tonight. Yeah, sure, why not? I don't think I rested last time, so... <laughs> A hundred geld is like hardly anything. So last time we defeated Magnus and then blew up the Palma Costa Human Ranch. So I think I might have gotten like an X gem. I don't remember though, but it's been a little while. Oh yeah, I did. Well, wow. okay. Who haven't I given an X gem to yet? I think Colette and Kratos are the only ones who don't have one yet. <laughs> Let's see. I use Kratos a lot more, so I'll give... I think I'll give him one. So what do, what do I want him to do? Yep, we'll set the gem. Oh, taunt. <laughs> Interesting. Lots of T-type moves that he has. Give him a bit more uh, magic stuff, I guess, because he's he's decent at magic. <laughs> okay, that should be pretty good. So I think we'll head off to Thoda Island next, which is where I got to last time. Let's see, <clears throat> 200 geld for a round trip. I'm sure I have enough money. <laughs> That's not really an issue right now. Well, wow, these look like little tubs. <laughs> Rain. <It's a> wash tub. <laughs> oh, Lloyd. It's a wash tub. Wash tubs. Mm -hmm. Wow, this looks like it'll be fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to wait here. Go on ahead without me. <laughs> oh, yeah, Rain, you don't like What's the ocean. Wrong, Professor Sage? <laughs> Nothing. I'm not getting in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's fun. Rain, you are my wife, Ulo. Yeah, Rain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Professor Sage, are you afraid of water or something? I, I was just starting to say, ah, this should be fun. <laughs> oh, I think she's hiding something. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she doesn't like the ocean. <laughs> Oh, wow. These characters are funny, though. Okay, it looks like we're here. We've finally arrived. That was fun, wasn't it, Lloyd? Seawater came in and I thought I was going to sink. Oh, God. Here, Professor. Ah, right. Thank you. Aw. That was a rare experience. Oh well, there's another safe point here. I might as well take it. Why not? Right? <laughs> what items do I have anyways? Okay, I have a handful of those. Might try and get more of magic lens while I'm here. What's this? Thoda Geyser. I remember I got a pass from Magnius before. Wow! Lloyd, a geyser is a type of hot spring that periodically erupts with boiling water and water vapor. Y yeah I knew that. <laughs> hmm. What is it, Chosen? That sign. 
over on that lookout platform. What about the sign? It looks kind of familiar. Maybe it's just my imagination. Oh? Okay, interesting. Okay, I'm gonna check some more items that I got. I know I got something called a pass. Oh, here it is. Hakanesia Peak Mountain Pass. Oh, interesting. So I can head that way. Cool. The photo guys are approximately 200 years ago. What do you have to say? <clears throat> <laughs> Rather want to experience the wash tubs. Okay, I can get stuff here. I guess I'll get a handful of these magic lens, like, why not? They're really cheap. <laughs> oh, thank you for the auto host glyphics. There's no one who would go in there with all the people staring at them. Okay, let's take a look at the sign, though. All I have to do is to stop it with my magic, right? Yeah, while it's stopped, I'll go down there along the rocky parts and get the statue. The ice I can make will... Well, it's just an estimate, but I don't think it will last more than about 30 seconds. Gotcha. Lloyd, be careful. Don't do anything dangerous. Even my healing arts have their limits. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we learned that last time after Rain was unable to heal General Governor Dorr, and he passed. You have a bad habit of getting cocky. Be careful. Oh, uh, Kratos, you hypocrite. <laughs> Icicle. Move in the direction I indicate. If you mess up three times, the ice will melt, so don't make any mistakes, okay? Good luck, Lloyd. So all I have to do is not mess up, right? Leave it to me. Okay, then. Here I go. Up, left, left, oh god, right, oh god, goal. <laughs> You're amazing, Lloyd, I knew we could count on you. Okay then, let's go back to that old man. Okay, we got the spiritual statue. After we played a tiny little mini game, and I didn't even realize that Lloyd had 1,337 hit points right now. It's kind of funny. Oh, what's this? Hey, isn't this a whatchamacallit stone? <laughs> oh god, an oracle stone. <laughs> that must be why it looked familiar. So this is the seal of water. Aw, oh, that sucks. I didn't even need to get that spiritual, spiritual statue. Cheer up, Lloyd. Just think of it as giving you the opportunity to have fun riding in the wash tubs. Yeah, I guess, but... Lloyd, let's hurry on inside. Come on, Colette. Okay, then. I'll try putting my hand on the stone. Here, here we go. Oh, aha. Nice. Oh, it's Sheena again. Yep. <laughs> oh, no-ish. Excellent. Now let us begin the ex excavation at once. We're not here to excavate anything. Ah! <laughs> Corrine. Who's that? Wow. Another animal. 
<laughs> Grr, I'll get you next time for sure. Oh! Why does this weird animal block the way? Ugh! Alright, we have a dungeon. What's wrong? It looks like that girl didn't make it inside. What girl? That assassin, the one after the Chosen. She followed us? You didn't notice? <laughs> I... I was busy thinking and stuff. Never let your guard down, ever, assuming you want to survive. Oh yes, of course. You're so perfect. You'd never screw up. <laughs> Even I make mistakes. I made a terrible one. Oh, wow. Like what? I wonder. What? Nothing. I shouldn't have said that. Forgive me. Oh. <laughs> Kratos, you're cool. <laughs> Forgive you? What? You don't make any sense sometimes. Well, we are here, so... Hey, the steps are gone. You're great. How do we get back? I would presume that we'll respawn to the Chosen and reappear. Oh wow, that's so cool! Alright, but let's explore this dungeon. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not sure when I'm gonna next be learning stuff, but... Supersonic Thrust. Okay. That might be coming soon. People seem to be a decent level as well. So, clearly this is the water seal. What is that? An octo slime? Green roper. All right. Oh, it looks like this guy's interrupting a genus. <laughs> Go after this guy. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we have a skit. Say, the spiritual woman the statues are made after. You saved she saved the world, right? That's right. Thanks to spiritual, the world has was filled with mana and the people were saved. And spiritual was guided into heaven. If she already saved the world back then, then why is everyone suffering now? With mana shortages and the designs. The world stopped receiving its blessing because the Tower of Salvation disappeared. That's what I was taught anyway. H Lloyd, are you actually studying? <laughs> Not really, it's just been bugging me. I just thought, since it's a tower, someone has to have made it, and someone has to uh, be doing something with it. You know? Maybe angels like Remuel are providing us with mana. I see what you mean. That's a fascinating subject. Up until now, we've simply thought of the Tower of Salvation as nothing more than a symbol of salvation, but in the end, the only way we'll find the answer is to complete the salvation of the world. Yes. When you become an angel, I wonder if you'll go to the Tower of Salvation, too. If that's the case, we should just ask you after you go. I'm looking forward to your stories. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> oh, wow. 
Yes, so world regeneration is quite a big part about this game story. Okay, we have starfish and one of these. All right, sweet. <laughs> Photon Tempest is pretty good. All right, cool. We got some stuff. Kelp, squid, and octopus. Okay, what's this? Mermaid's tier. I don't know what that does. It's like food or something. A magic catalyst. Okay. Interesting. I guess we'll fight more stuff, though. Okay. Never stood a chance. All right, cool. <laughs> so clearly we have the water seal in this dungeon somewhere. I'll just fight some encounters cuz grinding is a good thing to do. Okay, there are just a lot of these guys. Okay, let's go after him. All right. Okay. jump. <clears throat> Alright, good stuff. Oh, I got another magic lens, wow. <laughs> Something tells me I just got one of those. Hey, what's this? The function of the sorcerer's ring changed. I wonder what it does. Water came out of the sorcerer's ring. The Thota geyser is a plentiful source of water, so maybe it reacted to that. With this power, we can supply water even to distant areas. But if all that does is squirt water, that sure seems kind of weak. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Okay, that looks like a seahorse thing. Let's go after you. All right, nice. I guess we'll kill this thing too, why not? Okay, I see elements, elements back there, so let's uh, kill them. Okay, this thing should be wrecked. All 
right. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Oh, I'm over limit. Nice. <laughs> cool. Aqua Quartz. Okay, people are getting a little low on TP, it looks like. So not a bad idea to restore some outside of battle. <laughs> Let's see these chests. Circlet. Okay, what's here? Life bottle. Okay, good stuff. Wonder if I can put that circlet on anyone. Warrior symbol. Where did I get this? Seems pretty good, whatever it is. Yeah, we'll definitely give it to Lloyd. Let's give Kratos the poison charm, because he's been getting poisoned sometimes. <clears throat> okay, Rain already has a circlet on her. I guess we'll give Colette the circlet too, because why not? <laughs> it looks like I can do something with this. Oh, okay, there's a an entrance here. So this thing allows uh, water to flow somewhere. There we go, with pancake time. <laughs> nice. I'm getting a lot of, like, uh, ingredients for stuff. What's this? Stun bracelet, okay. That sounds like it's an equipable item. Reduces the duration of stun by 50%. That's actually going to be really good for Lloyd, though. I'd be willing to sacrifice a little bit of his defense for that. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> nice rain. <laughs> that's actually really good. Like, that stun bracelet has just already been coming in handy. Like, I, I got to use it, like, right away. That's really good. Oh, memory gem. Oh, I have two memory gems, wow. Could probably give these leather boots to someone, though.
How about terrain? Okay, I think that's good. Let's see. That should be all right. Okay, now what's in here? Another circlet. Well, <laughs> Not like I already have, I don't know, like two of those. Okay, let's let Kratos attack that one and they'll go for this one. Oh, Genus is getting interrupted. <laughs> That one's not dead yet? Okay, it didn't even hit anyone though, so that's good. <laughs> okay, nice. Gotta go for those elementals first though, they're pretty nasty. Okay, we dispatched the elemental. That's all that matters. <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> Okay, let's see what's this way. Okay, looks like a block. Let's fight this guy first though. He could be in my way. Let's kill this elemental too. <laughs> Don't go after Genus, <laughs> this weird thing. <laughs> Getting lots of aqua quartz though. Pellets, I don't know what those do either. Material for making a level one figurine. Okay, interesting. A little more will make it slant. Okay, interesting. The lid of the water, water jug is closed. Hmm. Okay, so you can't, like, add more water here. Maybe I need some kind of item for this, I'm thinking. Maybe this block has something to do with it, too. Yep, 
Why would there be this block here? That's my question. But I'll try and figure it out my for myself at least. I'm not sure what to do here right away, but we'll try and figure it out. Yeah, I see stuff above me too. <clears throat> Maybe I have to go back and change the sorcerer's ring back to its original. Okay, someone's going after rain, it looks like. <laughs> Alright, nice. So I remember trying the... I remember trying the sorcerer's ring here and then it didn't work. <laughs> There's some cool like you attack combinations that you can do in this game, which is pretty awesome. Could restore some TP. Sure, why not? <laughs> I still find this really weird that there's a random block here. There's probably some, some significance with it later on, but... Okay. Okay, cool. It doesn't look like it's combustible. Okay, interesting. Okay, I, I would like to try and figure out this puzzle for myself at least, but <laughs> if I do need a hint, I will definitely ask for one. Okay. 
Yeah, that was a pretty crazy spell, that aqua laser there. Oh, that one's casting a spell, too. At least people didn't take too much damage, which is good. All right. <clears throat> I'll still try and figure out this puzzle. It's kind of interesting. A little more of what is the question? Maybe I can use an item here. Okay, maybe not. Is that? Oh, okay. So that's why the block's there. Because there's a switch. Wonder what that did though. <clears throat> May have changed something in this area. Oh, is this another? Oh, wow, it is. Okay, I didn't even know this was here. Okay, let's fight you. Yeah, lightning seems pretty effective, too. <laughs> okay, 
And he's by Genus, so we'll get rid of him. Okay, it looks like uh, people are getting a little low on TP, which is okay, I guess. Okay. Oh, what's this? Okay, this is another... Another one of these. Wonder if there's a pa Oh, there is a passage here. Nice. White silver? Okay, what's this? Orange gel, okay, nice. Okay, we'll try... Okay, I guess that doesn't... The torch is on... Okay, nice. Oh, I see this. Okay. Wonder what happened, though. Okay, let me see. Oh, okay, let's... So I can probably put these torches out, too, if I need to. Let's see the skit, too. I didn't know there was a ruin like this inside the Thoda Geyser. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> to begin with, why did they build a temple here? Was there a reason it had to be built here? Hmm, it's fascinating. <laughs> Oh, rain to my waifu. Professor, we're here to break the seal, remember? Let's go. <laughs> what did you say? Lloyd, have you no intellectual curiosity at all? Facing a ruin before you, doesn't your mind drift to thoughts of history? Well, um, I'm not really sure what to say. Oh, why, you're such a great, I'm such a great ruin as it is. There are no wall paintings or tablets or other records left behind. Maybe they didn't bother leaving any since no one but the Chosen can get in here anyway. Lloyd! Y yes That's an excellent observation! <laughs> oh wow. Rain, you're hilarious. Oh cool, so... Okay, so I figured out that I can light and unlight torches. Okay, 
Let's go after you. Cool. <laughs> All right. Okay, I want the fire. The fire for lighting the torch, that is. Get away from the healer, you thing. <laughs> Alright, cool. Earn the title Grand Swordsman. Nice. We'll check that out. Okay, titles. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, we're definitely going to take that title. <laughs> well, I'm level 20 already, too. Holy crap. Okay, let's check the lower part of that room again. Because something may have changed. Like, it's entirely possible. Get bored before Lloyd. I'm tired of all these fish and starfish and stuff. Stop whining. The Chosen isn't complaining. Genus, hang in there. Ugh. It'd be bad if I got tired of this place before Lloyd did. I'll keep my head up. How is Lloyd doing anyway? This rules. Check it out. Water shoots out. This sorcerer's ring is so weird. How does it work? Oh, that's right. We gave him a toy to play with. <laughs> oh, wow, genius. <laughs> Clearly this block has to do something, though. I'm still curious about this uh, water jug. Like there might be a way to open the lid and then add more water into it, but I'm not sure just yet. Okay, let's wreck this thing. Sweet. Okay, uh, two of these guys. No, you don't. <laughs> Cool stuff. Kratos leveled up. Oh, Magic Swordsman. Cool. <laughs> Let's give him that title, too. <laughs> HP, TP, and Int. Nice. Yep, we're gonna give him that. I actually have quite a few titles for Genus. None for Colette, though. Oh, 
Okay, there's that little lip to prevent the block from moving. Go after him. Cool. <laughs> All right. Okay. I see stuff above me off to the side as well, so I'm not exactly sure how to get there just yet, but we'll see. There could be something back here too, I don't know. Okay, Rain is out of TP, so I guess we'll give her we'll give her an orange gel. All right, cool. There doesn't seem to be anything much back here, though. Okay, we'll fight stuff. Why not? Go after him. Oh, <laughs> getting stunned. <laughs> Wouldn't be too bad to go back and get more orange gels. Because I am running a little low on them. This is gonna be a piece. Okay, here we go. At least these elementals fall pretty quickly, though. Oh, okay, Colette got a title, too. <laughs> nice. Might as well give that to her as well. TP int and accuracy, nice.
Ah, excuse me. Okay, let's see. Doesn't look like I can... Oh, aha, uh -huh, there we go. Sweet. I wonder what that did for me, though. Okay, so we have some progress. This is why I like figuring things out for myself sometimes. <laughs> Okay guys, I have to be back for a moment. Hang on, I'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay, sorry guys, I was away for a bit, but that's fine. Uh, okay. So what did, uh, what did lowering that do for me? It did lower this door a little bit. Fortunately, it doesn't look like I can move the block, so... I wonder if that changed something down here, though. We'll see. I'll just fight stuff. Oh god, the aqua laser. <laughs> These elements are getting pretty annoying. <laughs> okay, good stuff. Oh, Rain got a title too, wow. She got two titles. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> nice. <laughs> or she got like a couple things. She might have gotten like a new spell or something. Oh, she has some good uh, buff spells, too. Let's see what her new title does. Okay, that puts her... Uh okay, let's see. Compared to my title now, that puts her... Intelligence up and HP. But her TP will increase more slowly. That's, that's alright, I think. I think we can do that. <laughs> I feel good with doing that. With doing that, I guess. Alright. Oh, so that... Okay, that knocked this thing off. Okay, good stuff. So what did that do? Oh, nice. Alright. Hey, Toasted Hamster. Yeah, yeah, the titles are really nice. So basically, like, titles in this game, as far as I can tell anyway, they seem to, like, affect how you level up and, like, what your stats will be like when you level up. go after him. Someone got air thrust. Cool. <laughs> so 
Let's attack you. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of aqua quartz and pellets, though. I think I should backtrack and get some more orange, gel orange gels, though, because I'm using a ton of them. I have a lot of geld, too. Holy crap. <laughs> Literally 20,000. <000. laughs> get behind him a bit. Oh, stalagmite, nice. Yeah, we're gonna go back and get some orange gels probably, but let's see what's over here first. Okay, it's a warp. Okay, I, I would be wise to think that might be a boss, so... <laughs> yeah. Looks like Kratos is over limit. <laughs> oh, uh, Genus is over limit too. Holy crap. No wonder, because he doesn't have too much TP. And then I got over limit. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay, let's go after him. Yeah, those unison attacks are really cool, though. <laughs> Alright, well, we definitely need to go back and refill some TP. That's <laughs> not even a question right now. <laughs> At least buy a ton of orange gels, because I'll probably need them. All right, I think this guy is the shop. Yes, we do need some items. I'm just gonna get a ton of these, like. <laughs> I go through them very fast. I know there's like a safe point around here too, so it might be wise to use that. I'm doing pretty good on HP, so... Let's just restore a bit of TP. Alright. Okay.
I guess we'll go back to the dungeon. <laughs> I feel like I'm pretty well prepared for a boss, so especially with like, getting all those orange gels. Ouch. Stalagmite again. That was just warm enough. Cool. Okay, so I think it's this way that I want to go. Oh, okay, there's a safe point in here. I didn't even realize that. They can be pretty subtle sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, so let's just heal up before going into the boss, because that's probably a wise thing to do. Let's restore a bunch of TP. Okay, I feel comfortable now. Okay, let's go. Yep, this definitely looks like a boss. This place is all dark and humid. Let's hurry up and get out of here. We must release the seal first. I know that. I feel mon mana welling up. It's the same as the seal of fire. Please reorganize your party so it includes Colette. Yep, sounds good. All right, who do we uh, get rid of instead of Colette? I guess in this uh, case, I'll also like, we'll see. Maybe we'll uh, get the strats set up too. What does Colette even have? Because I don't really use her too much. Pow hammer. Considering, like, this is a water type of foe, like, I don't... I think I might want to set up some elemental stuff. Like, especially with genus. Okay, let's get rid of the fire and water spells for now. Icicle might be good. Are there any more fire spells that he has? I don't think so. Yeah, let's get... That should be good, I think. How about Rain? Does she have any of that stuff? Probably not. Okay. I feel pretty comfortable with this party, so let's do it. Let's try and keep Colette a little bit back. I think she'll, I'll set her on Don't Pursue for now. Let's uh, have her use skills freely. Okay, that should be good. All right, let's go. Yep, boss time. Okay, we'll see, uh, 
Amphitra. Okay, let's let's take a look. All right, I think I'll use the magic lens on someone. Whatever that thing is, is casting a spell, so... Okay, these things don't have a lot of hit points. Okay. Okay, someone's getting damaged. Okay, we'll keep that. Okay, we got rid of one of them, so let's get rid of the other one before fighting the main boss. Ouch. <laughs> Okay, I should probably, uh, I don't think I've set, uh, Colette's U attack just yet. Pow hammer. Okay, let's set this to something. Angel feathers, how about? <laughs> okay. I guess we'll set Genus's stuff too. Let's set this to lightning rather than fireball. It's probably good. Okay. Okay, I'm losing a little bit of health as Lloyd, so we'll just get Genus to use an apple gel on me. Alright, sweet. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright, nice. <laughs> that wasn't too hard at all, actually. <laughs> I got a decent grade for that, too. <laughs> Not compared to, like, uh, the, <laughs> the fire boss, that is. <laughs> that was pretty fun, actually. This game's definitely getting better, like, with less difficulty spikes. Chosen of regeneration, you have done well in reaching this far. Now offer your prayers at the altar. Yes! Oh, Goddess Martell, great protector and nurturer of the earth, grant me thy strength. Wow, she's becoming more angelic. Let's see what she gets this time. Well, she is floating and levitating, so that's one thing. Like, that fight didn't go too badly at all. Oh, hello, Remuel. <laughs> You have done well, Chosen One, Colette. The second seal is now released. Thank you, Father. Accept this blessing from Crucius. I hereby grant you additional angelic power. Uh, Father? 
They say this game's called Seals and Feels, so... <laughs> the next seal lies far north, in a place that gazes upon the end. Interesting. Gazes upon the end. Offer your prayers at the altar in that distant land. Father, have I done something to displease you? It matters not. All that is needed is for you to become an angel. I will be waiting for you at the next seal, Colette, my daughter. Hurry and become a true angel. Do not disappoint me. Well, that's, that's cool, so. She seeks the approval of her true father. What's up with him? He always talks like he's so important. <laughs> yeah. Like Kratos. <laughs> I guess. Apologize to Colette. <laughs> oh, Rain, you're hilarious. It's all right, Father. Remuel really does sound like that. Well, shall we get going to the next seal? Although, he was confusing as usual. <laughs> Stop complaining. Let's get moving. Right, well, we did get a full heal after that fight, so that's good. I did not find that fight difficult at all, so... It's a nice change of pace from, like... <laughs> you'd say seals and feels is accurate. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> there have been some feely moments in this game, for sure. So far. Nothing to, like, make a tear from me just yet, but... <laughs> okay, I don't want to be caught up in that. Get away from the spellcasters. <laughs> Colette's actually getting a bit better in this game, so... <laughs> a little bit. But she's not entirely useless anymore. Okay, but for now, let's get Kratos back in here, because he's... He's just a cooler character in general. <laughs> Okay, I guess we'll fight him, too. Let's attack him, because he's closer to me. Can probably set Genus's spells back to normal too. Oh, there's only one of them left. <laughs> hey, nice. Another level up. This is only the tip of the iceberg, yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. And yes, uh, yes, Toasted Master, Rain is my waifu in this game. <laughs> Let's say that. Oh, Colette! Wow. We must let her rest immediately. Just like the first seal. Yes. But if this is going to happen every time she releases a seal, Colette is going to have a difficult journey ahead of her. For the time being, I'm going to call the phenomenon Angel Toxicosis. Angel Toxicosis. Okay, interesting. Colette, are you okay? Does it hurt? I'm fine. 
It'll go away soon. I'm sorry for worrying everyone. Okay, that's enough. You're not allowed to apologize anymore, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. She apologizes a lot. Oh, nice little scene. Oh, there she is. Colette, you're still up? I couldn't sleep. You may feel better now, but you still need to rest. Yeah, so this 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 basically happened after we after we uh, released the fire seal too, like they camped and then uh, Colette was uh, in pain. So this is happening again at the water seal. I know. I'll go to sleep in a little bit. Don't worry. Wait. She's still she's still up. So first she uh, she was complaining about or, sh or or Lloyd was saying she didn't need to like eat much. And now she's staying up. Interesting. But still. Kratos is still awake too. See? Hmm. That's weird. That's because he volunteered to be the night watch. You need to rest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, good night. Good yeah. Night. Really good characters in this game. I like it. This yes. game... Should bring some good dreams for me, Lloyd. This should definitely be a movie. Like, <laughs> I can see this game making a, a great movie. Okay, so we released that seal, so now we need to head to the north. All right, we'll go back. We'll definitely go back to the mainland. So that was pretty cool for sure. Sonic Sword Rain, wow. I'm gonna be getting some cool moves soon. All right, so I guess we'll head to the field. Man, is this game getting good? Like at this at this stage, it started off pretty slow, but then it's been starting to get awesome. <laughs> okay, I think we'll just do long range mode here. Okay, which way am I even going? Like, <laughs> okay, I want to head in which direction? Okay, there's the ranch that I destroyed last time. Oh, they do have an anime of this. Well, I'll have to finish the game before I watch the anime to avoid spoilers and stuff. Possibly. But seriously, this game... <laughs> I wasn't into... This game might be the thing that gets me into anime, like... Okay, we'll fight him. Get the one right next to me, how about? Alright, sweet. Oh, 
Oh, here's the peak. So I guess we can continue on here because we have... We kind of have the statue now, right? Oh, interesting. I got the pass. I got a pass just from doing that. Okay, maybe I can go past here now. Oh, nice. Cool, so there are like two ways to go. Like, you can go to the ranch and get a pass, or you can get the spirit to a statue and get then get a pass too. Interesting. Let's see what happens when I... Give him the spirit to a statue though. Oh, this is indeed the spiritual statue. Give it to me. In exchange for the Book of Regeneration. I know, I know. Just be sure you remember. I'm only letting you look at it. <laughs> of course. Ah, oh, wonderful. Now you may look at the Book of Regeneration as much as you like. Nice. All right. Let's start reading it right away. He's not willing to part with it, but at least, at least we can look at it. Hmm, it's written in a very old style. What does it say? There's quite a lot of text. Colette, please read aloud just the parts that concern the seals. Okay, I'll skip over the torn parts. Oh, it's not even in great condition. <laughs> Raging flames in an ancient city deep within clouds of sand. Overlook the city, lighting the darkness. Pure flowing water floating, overflowing in an isolated land becomes a giant pillar and rains down from the sky. Sublime wind, ancient city, the worlds. Enshrined in the center of a giant stone seal lurks evil, impersonating a holy force. Shining, gazing up at the summit of the gods, giving praise to the pillar of the world. From the top of the tower of ancient gods, is this talking about the Tower of Salvation? Because that's what it sounds like. Too giant. The rest is too damaged. I can't read it. Then, we don't even know how many seals are left. Indeed. The raging flames part at the beginning must be the seal of fire, right? What do you think... What do the other parts mean? The seal of wind must be the Asgard ruin. Oh, cool. If we travel to Asgard, we should be able to find some clues. I remember Rain had uh, something from the Asgard rune. What about gazing up at the summit of the gods? That sounds like a... That does sound like a mountain. I think that's probably the Tower of Mana. From there, you can see the mountains around the Tower of Salvation. So that's probably the summit of the gods. But what seal is that? Uh, hmm. I don't know. Oh, well. <laughs> At any rate, we know where the seals are now. Let's get going. Thanks, Gramps. Thank you so much. Come back whenever you like if you want to look at it again. Alright, cool. Nice. <laughs> Oh, angel language. Let's see this. The angelic language is pretty difficult. Really? I didn't really under yeah, I didn't really understand what was written. I've read nothing but books written in angelic language since I was a child, so I wonder if I could learn to read it if I study. The angelic language is the basis for the language of this world. The grammar hasn't changed significantly. Yeah, I'll teach you if you'd like. I can provide some instruction as well. Okay, I'm going to learn it. <laughs> yeah, genius, very intelligent. Oh, hey. Oh, one of the cats, dudes. All right. I guess we'll continue on up this way then. Let's see this skit too. Magnus, hmm. What is it, Lloyd? 
Those last things he said were kind of strange. You mean about being deceived? I wonder what he was deceived by. There's no way to know now. Oh, I know! What? Know what? Magnus thought the fake chosen group was us. <laughs> yep. <laughs> ah, I see. Then everything would make sense. No, it doesn't. If that was the case, the imposters would have been killed by now. Just as Rain said, there's no way for us to know now. But Magnus is dead. Isn't that enough? Yeah, I guess so. Still, I really thought we'd figured it out. Yeah, I wonder what he was deceived by, too. Okay. Okay, now where the heck am I now? That's my question. So we did... <laughs> we did release the water seal, which is cool. Alright. See the Silverant map. Okay, I don't really know... Okay, I don't really know where it is. We're just on, like, the eastern continent or whatever. Okay, so it looks like there's a path to the east and to the north. I remember I was told to go to the north. So, I guess we'll go north. Hey, there's something over here, too. Let's see what's this way first, though, because I am right here. <laughs> After we get into a few encounters, of course. What is that? Oh, it's a harpy. Let's go after you. All right, sweet. <laughs> it's, no, it's great that I got to use a U attack in that uh, boss battle, though. That definitely made it significantly nicer. Okay. Let's see what's around this bridge and stuff. An Holy crap, it's a it's a dragon. <laughs> okay, let's let's try this anyway. Yeah, I think the dragon's more of a threat right now. Okay, we killed it. Nice. <laughs> Blame your fate. Good stuff. <laughs> That's my first time coming across a dragon-like creature in this game. So... <laughs> okay, I do wonder what's this way, though. Oh nice, I got a Sonic Sword Rain, that's pretty cool. That was just warm enough. Okay. I might like put that as one of my moves now. <laughs> okay, let's get tech. Sonic Sword Rain, let's see how good it is. Nice. Okay. Okay, I don't have long range mode in this area yet, so we'll see what's over here just for kicks. Bellacro Bellacroft Mausoleum. Okay. 
don't think I need to go here yet, so... Oh, que oh, sweet. So Sonic Sword Rain is like Sonic's Thrust and Sword Rain put, put together. That's nice. Cool stuff. Like, that <laughs> that's awesome. I imagine there would be a lot of undead in that area. Hey, a chest. Strike Ring. That's cool. Have to see what that does. A ring that makes the wearer disposed towards S-type. Okay, interesting. Alright, very quick battle. I kind of found that randomly, which was cool. <laughs> okay, there doesn't seem to be anything over there. It's just like this. What seems to be a mausoleum there. I can imagine there's a lot of undead over there. So I don't think I need to worry about that right now. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay, what's that? A warrior, two sorcerers. Let's kill him. Okay, cool stuff. <laughs> Lightning's pretty good. <laughs> Another lead shield, wow. <laughs> we got a pretty good grade for that battle too. Even though it was a pretty small battle. Okay, there doesn't seem to be too much over here. Okay, so I guess we'll head to the north. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay, another harpy, I guess. Sweet. <laughs> Rain's getting quite a few... Quite a few last kills there. <laughs> Guess we'll stop by this House of Salvation, because why not? Asgard, okay. They're both famous tourist spots. Okay, interesting. I did find the mausoleum. A unicorn. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Let's say that. All right, I think we'll I think we'll continue on the path to Asgard, which should be to the west, I think. So 
So we'll just set our compass for west. I don't know exactly where it is though, so we'll see. Okay, that's something that's going on. So the seal of wind, okay. So it, yeah, it is towards the west, okay. It's actually a bit south from where I am, too. Let's just kill this beetle first. Sweet. <laughs> I could actually give that thing that I got to, uh, Colette. Probably. Because she doesn't really have anything. Well, these things are dying really easily, though, because <laughs> I must, I'm a pretty high level so far. Fun fact, like, uh, getting lost in that maze at the Palma Costa Ranch was probably a blessing in disguise. To say oh, here it is, Asgard. All right, let's see what we have here. You must be rich. Okay, let's check out some of the houses here. This looks like some kind of shop. The Vortex Inn. Yeah, it is a pretty small inn, that's right. This town has some pretty good music, too. Like, <laughs> I definitely like a handful of the music in this game, for sure. Okay. Let's see if I can find a shop to buy equipment, because I have a lot of money, actually. <laughs> spend it on stuff. Okay, this looks like a shop. Someone's talking about the Wonder Chef. Okay, this is where I can buy some ingredients. Might as well buy a few eggs, cause I know what I know how to make omelets. <laughs> and I know I got a bunch of rice earlier, so hey, what's this? Hello. Hardly any traces of the ancient civilization left. Shrine of the Right. Interesting.
This place is pretty cool. Like, <laughs> the game is definitely getting awesome at this stage. Okay, this definitely this definitely looks like a weapons and armor shop. So I definitely want to shop here. Aha, here we go. I've got that already. Slicer ring. Okay, Kratos already has- oh, wow, okay. Nice. Okay, let's get that for Genus, because why not? I guess I'll let get that for Colette. And then this for Kratos. Let's do my equips. <laughs> Okay, let's give him the Hydra Dagger. I haven't actually given Genus some new a new weapon for a while, because partially he doesn't need it, but <laughs> it's generally a good idea to do. Okay, let's give Colette the slicer ring. Yeah, it actually increases her attack a decent amount. Okay, let's see what armor I can get. Cyclone, Typhoon and Cyclone, yeah I see. Ring Mail. Okay, Colette already has that. I have one of these on Genus. Feather Robe, that would be good. Iron Helm. Yeah, I could get that for Kratos. Is this worth it for Lloyd, though? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> we'll definitely get two ring mails. Get that. Kitchen mittens. Paralysis charm. Okay, that's cool. Iron gauntlet. Let's see what this does. That's good for Lloyd. Might give that to Lloyd. That's for Kratos. Get a couple of those too. All right. Maybe I'll do my equips afterwards. I think I will buy a paralysis charm though. It would be nice to have when paralysis actually shows up. <laughs> okay. Let's see, let's do my equips. So Lloyd, okay, let's give him the ring mail. Iron helm, no, I wanted the iron helm for Kratos, actually. Let's give him the iron gauntlet. Okay, those are all worse. The Iron Helm is better. Let's give Kratos a ring mail. Genus. Oh, I already gave him that. Never mind. <laughs> I don't really need this, so I'll give... Well, it actually increases her evasion. I didn't notice that before. It's actually not bad for my healer to have, though. 
Let's give her a kitchen, kitchen mittens, I guess. We'll give Colette the paralysis charm for now. Kitchen mittens. Okay, the leather guard is bad. Okay. <clears throat> I think that's all the equips that I can do for now, so... <laughs> it's funny. Oh, I can purchase something with grade. Well, I have 107 grade. <laughs> cool. Missed items check. I probably don't need to spend too much. Wouldn't be bad to get a gem with some of the gray that I've been building up, though. Why do you have gems? That's a secret! <laughs> okay. Do I want to give someone a gem? I could give Lloyd like a level 2 gem, which would be good. Yeah, let's do it. Nice. Okay. We're gonna buy... Give him a gem. Dodge, dash, vitality, and personal. Okay. Interesting. Let's see what this does. S-type. Increases mobility in cities and dungeons. That doesn't seem as good. Increases mobility during battle, that's not, that's not bad, although Lloyd has a bunch of mo mobility already. How do I... Hmm, I wonder how I like, uh... Oh, okay, I just pick one of these now. Okay, I'm gonna go for Vitality with Lloyd. Because <laughs> he's like my main frontline fighter. <laughs> I'll just make him an all-out tank, because why not? <laughs> Relax, okay. Nice. Okay, that was the shop. Let's see what we got here. Asgard's famous place is the mural tunnel, okay. Stone dies. Okay, what's this? The whirlwind. Okay, clearly this is where I can buy some gels and stuff. Stone charm. Okay, prevents it, protects against petrify and heavy. Okay, interesting.
I have a bunch of life bottles, but I guess I'm going to get some more orange gels because they're really good <laughs> to have. Okay, I haven't found like a customizing person yet, so... What's over here? Ruins are boring. <laughs> Don't say that to rain. <laughs> oh, wow. Cleo the first and the summoned spirit of wind. Okay. What's up there? There's something up here. A hotel. So this place has two inns, I guess. Well, this one looks a lot fancier though. The cool breeze. Yeah, I don't think I need a room, because... <laughs> okay. Let's explore all these rooms, because why not? Well, it even has, like, <laughs> a couple floors in that one room. Yeah, this is definitely a high-end hotel, like... <laughs> Okay, what's this? There aren't any customers on dragons coming today. Okay, where does where does this go? Hmm. All right. Oh, there's more to this town, too. Wow. Okay, what's this place? The Fresco. Wow, there are tons of competing hotels here. Wow. Interesting. Okay, let's go over to the right, I think, in a little bit. Okay. Okay, some more buildings. Hmm. Well, this is quite the this is quite the town. It's got really nice music too, like. <laughs> okay, let's check this area. Okay, well maybe we'll go up here. Hey, what's this? Wait, what? The Wonder Chef? Oh, well. I shall teach you the recipe for a dish that stirs the blood of people of hunting cultures. Meat stew, okay. Okay, sweet. Some type of meat and kelp. Okay, I got a lot of kelp. So that's pretty good. 
That seemed pretty random, like. Okay, there's nothing really up here. Okay, let's check down here a little bit. Wow, so many places to go. <laughs> Holy crap. Did I check this house yet or no? Feels like I have. <laughs> Madame's treasured vase. <laughs> the next sacrifice for sure. Oh god. Just like breaking Mimi's vase in Super Paper Mario. <laughs> and then she makes you work for her for free. <laughs> Dust on the edge of the plate. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be too much over here. At least not anymore. So I guess we'll go back over here then. Alright. So I'm looking for the seal of wind, apparently, because that's supposed to be here. Okay, let's try going this way. This is the only way I haven't been just yet. Oh, it's the Asgard ruin! Lloyd, state the historical background of this ruin! <laughs> oh, she's still a teacher outside of the classroom. Uh, um, well, let's see. It's the temple where Cleo III, the third, had a ritual to offer a sacrifice to the summoned spirit of wind in order to quell a storm that had raged for a week. That's it. <laughs> Gah, have you learned anything at all these past five years? P.E. and art and... Never mind! <laughs> oh, wow, that's funny. <coughs> what perfect form! This delicate curve is said to express the flight of the summoned spirit of wind through the sky. In addition, uh, Kratos just like walks off. <laughs> In addition, it is said that the stone is infused with a large volume of mana, and at night. Although currently due to the world's mana shortage, the mana infused in the stone is also said to be fading. Yep, so basically the whole idea is a world regeneration is to like restore the mana. This is what commonly known as the filament effect. Along with the aroma, the mana released also causes a sparkling effect. It is thought that the mystique created around the stone dyes can be attributed to the f this filament effect. <laughs> Since the people of that time did not understand the scientific basis behind it. <laughs> yeah, Rain, you are awesome. Any questions? <laughs> Professor, that's kind of complicated. Could you please explain it again? <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh, all right. What perfect form. This delicate curve is said to express the flight of the summoned spirit of wind through the sky. Oh, here we go again. In addition, it is said that the stone is infused with a large volume of mana, and at night... Although currently due to the world's mana shortage, the mana infused in the stone is also said to be fading. When the mana infused in the stone evaporates, it emits a unique aroma. This is what is commonly known as the filament effect. So you can, the idea is you can smell it. Along with the aroma, the mana released also causes a sparkling effect. Is 
It is thought that the mystique created around the stone dais can be attributed to this filament effect. Since the people of that time did not understand the scientific basis behind it. Any questions? Professor, that's kind of complicated. Could you please explain it again? <laughs> All right. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, she's explaining it again. Holy crap. She must really love ruins, or perhaps something happened to her when she was young. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Rain's eyes are all lit up. <laughs> uh, Rain. This is very educational. Uh, <laughs> hey, there's someone back here. Listen, Linner. This is my invention, the breaker. If we use this bomb, we can easily destroy this confounded dais. But, but Harley, this is a rare and valuable remnant of the Bellacroft dynasty. We can't destroy it. What are you talking about? As things stand now, Aisha may be killed. Aisha? What are you two doing? Oh, what? Who are you? It's not what you think. We weren't trying to destroy the ruin at all. Oh, Rain's getting pissed. What did you just say? Professor, these guys said they're planning to destroy the stage. Stage? <laughs> and you call yourselves human beings? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rain, you're awesome. <laughs> so badass. <laughs> I am a half-elf. Oh, so there are half-elves out here that are not designs. What has that got to do with anything? You have no idea of the importance of this ruin. Uh-oh. You see, you're going to destroy this fabulous ruin? Now listen, during the final era of the Bellacroft dynasty, this ruin was... Oh! <laughs> Professor? What? If you have any questions, I'll take them after the lecture- Oh god! <laughs> the bomb turned on. I said, if you have any questions, I'll take them le- Oh <laughs> god! What?! <laughs> Oh my god, this is hilarious. Woman, you flipped the switch. <laughs> Don't try to put the blame on someone else. <laughs> that doesn't matter now. Is there a disarm switch? <laughs> oh my god, this scene is great. Of course not. Don't act like you're proud of it. I guess I'll just have to disarm it myself. Hey, you're pretty good to be able to stop the uncontrollable breaker. <laughs> Don't go around building stuff you can't control. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Lloyd has some common sense, but not intelligence. The ruin seems to be unharmed. She's only in it for the ruins, like... <laughs> that's all she cares about. You there, trespassing in this area is forbidden. Oh no, it's the mirror. Uh oh, run! Professor, this looks like trouble. Let's just get out of here. But I haven't had time to study you the structure of the... Just come on, hurry everybody. Ah. <sighs> I want to study it more. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Who were those two? I wonder why they wanted to destroy the ruin. Yes, the ruin. We have to stop them from engaging in such foolish acts like trying to destroy a ruin. <laughs> well, 
And Rain unknowingly tried to destroy it too. Let's go, Lloyd. Okay, let's see what that did. A sacrificial altar. Okay. Let's see if I can find that pair of kids that ran off. I can probably continue for another, like, uh, 15 minutes or so, so, which isn't too bad. At least I made a decent amount of progress, which is nice. Like, we finished another dungeon and we <coughs> released the water seal. Okay, this guy just says uh, the same thing for now. Okay, that's not them. So it's, it's interesting that there's like a sacrifice that like happens in this area. All right. Maybe I'll try going up there again and then see. You're the ones that went up on the dice. I am a scholar. May I please have your permission to study this ruin? There's an idiot just like you in this city already. Oh, like a doppelganger? Thanks to him, the city's tourism industry is on the verge of collapse. I refuse. What are you talking about? If you want to know, try asking Liner. No matter how many times you come here, the answer is still no. Okay, sounds good. I guess we have to find the kid then. Okay, he's not in here. You can see that. wonder where he ran off to. That's the question. <clears throat> he doesn't look like he's in here. How about here? Oh, Lloyd, we need to find those two. Okay, Professor. The question, of course, is where are they, but <laughs> I'll try and figure that out for myself. check over here again. Maybe uh, they're in someone's house. I don't know exactly, but we'll see. <clears throat> okay, not here. Let's 
I think this area is an inn. Oh, there they are. You're those tourists from earlier. I am a scholar. Whatever, get out. Harley, stop it. This is my house. I understand that you were the ones that stopped Harley and my brother. Thank you. I'm not sure stopped is the best way to put it. <laughs> yeah. They got in our way. It doesn't matter what you call it. The point is, the people of the city are the ones that would suffer if that ruin was destroyed. But as things are now, you're going to be sacrificed. Sacrificed? It's a ritual in honor of the summon spirit of wind. Aisha was chosen for it. Originally, the ritual consisted of just dancing on the stone platform, but... Wow, that's dark. Holy crap. This idiot started meddling with the stone dyes as part of his research and opened the seal. Because of that, that summoned spirit of wind thing awoke and is demanding sacrifices. The seal, do you mean? What? The seal? Yes, if you, too, are researching the Bellacroft ruins, then you must be aware of the altar erected in place of the summoned spirit of wind. The seal recently really existed, just as the legend said. Are you saying that the Bellacroft Pillar hieroglyphics are not just a myth? It sounds like this isn't the seal we're looking for. Rain, are you forgetting why you're on this journey? <laughs> well, it's alright. It's not as if it's completely out of our way. Yes, in the back of the platform there is a small indentation and... That's enough. Aisha's about to be sacrificed to the summoned spirit tonight. Now get out of here. Well. It's pretty crazy stuff. This game has sacrifice too. <laughs> if you're talking about the sacrifice, we've already heard about it. Then you should understand. We can't allow anyone to disturb the dice any further and risk bringing down the wrath of the summon spirit of wind. The only one who may step up upon the stage is the summon spirit dancer. Then I shall become the dancer. Then it would be... F then would it be fine for me to go up onto the stage, yes? <laughs> oh god. Professor! According to the Book of Regeneration, this should be the next seal. If we can meet the Summon Spirit, we should be able to tell. The sacrifice that the Summon Spirit seeks might even be the Chosen of Mana. Wow. I see. That's our professor. You just want to study the rune first hand. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. You should learn to keep your mouth shut, Lloyd. <laughs> Please, Mayor. Do as you wish. I won't be held responsible if it costs you your life. It's not right for you to have to take my place. There's nothing to worry about. Rain, are you sure you're going to be okay? Yes, now it's time I changed clothes. Would you mind? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> she is di wearing a different getup. Holy crap. <laughs> Yeah, this game is definitely getting awesome at this stage. I have come for the girl. Oh, looks like it's boss fight time. It's not. 
No, Professor! That's an evil creature. It's not the guardian of the seal. Oh. Here we go, boss time. Okay. Let's uh, set Genus' as, uh, strats and stuff. Okay, so this is a wind-based creature, so... Let's turn off wind magic for now. Earth magic should be okay. Okay, what else do we want to do? Oh, I'm over limit too, nice. Stalagmite, nice. Okay. Uh, okay, I think people are okay as far as, uh... Alright. Uh, let's give Genus some more, uh, TP, and I think Kratos can, Kratos can, uh, help him there. You attack time. Okay, let's see how much health this thing has, too. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay, um, Rain should use the lens, I think. Okay, he's almost dead. <laughs> Alright, nice. <laughs> that wasn't too bad at all. Map of Belacruf and Talisman. Sweet. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was that was that was that wasn't too bad. Fantastic, you're fantastic, Rain. Huh, it was hardly a challenging opponent. <laughs> now, more importantly, about that stone tablet you acquired. Nice, we got it. This stone tablet has ancient Belacruf writing inscribed on it. Let's decipher it right away. I have the necessary materials assembled in my house. Yes, let's go. Um, thank you very much. That thing wasn't the summon spirit of wind after all, was it? I bet Rain and Liner will investigate what it really was. Yeah, that rain is a half-elf after all. You can count on her wisdom. She's a full elf, dude, I think. N no you are wrong. Rain is an elf. I'm an elf, too. What? Surely you don't. I think I'd mistake my own... <laughs> uh, actually, I guess I was wrong. It seems you two are pure-blooded elves. I must not have been paying careful attention. Yeah, like, they both have, like, white hair. We should get some rest, too. I'm exhausted. Alright, cool. It looks like the professor hasn't come back yet. Are you serious? She's conducting research with Liner. Let's go get her. All right. Okay, so I guess we'll go over to their house. Oh, it's nice that I got a full heal too. Let's see what items I got as well. The talisman increases defense by 5%. Okay, that could be good for someone.
Okay, I might give it to uh, Colette, actually. Well, wow, Colette's actually starting to get more hit points and stuff. But her defense, I remember, is pretty low, so... Yeah, we'll give it to her. <laughs> I like that sometimes this game isn't all isn't all combat. This is kind of a nice change of pace. <laughs> Good timing. I just finished deciphering it. The professor is amazing. <laughs> She deciphered the complex Bellacroft writing in no time at all. <laughs> ha, Rain just gained another fan. <laughs> She's quite the catch, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Rain's so funny. It would appear that the monster was the cause of the calamity that afflicted the ancient Bellacroft empire. It seems that the summoner at the time used Sylph the summon spirit of wind to seal it away then built the stone dice to suppress the calamity in preparation for the day when this calamity might reawaken he left this map in order for people to be able to locate the summon spirit of wind nice after a great many years people eventually confused the calamity with the summon spirit of wind oh like a game of telephone I guess so now you know where the Summon Spirit of Wind is located? Of course, the location of the Summon Spirit is the location of the next seal. Wow, I wonder what the Summon Spirit of Wind is like. I can't wait to see it. Now we can finally regenerate the world. Regenerate the world? Now that I think about it, what was your purpose for coming to the city? You don't look like ordinary travelers or tourists. Well then, if you know our next destination, we should be on our way at once. Yes, it's likely that the seal is inside the Bellacroft Mausoleum. Yep, I found that place. Okay, let's get going. Uh, um... Well, please take care. Okay, Rain's back. <laughs> nice, we got the map, too. Cool. Might as well take a look at this map. Maybe it appears on the Silverant map, actually, but I don't know. Well, I did find the mausoleum earlier, so that's, that's kind of good. Oh, let's see the skit. <laughs> that was quite a summon spirit of wind, wasn't it? But thanks to that, we know where we now know where the seal is, right? Yeah, I guess wonder what the next seal is gonna be like. I'm a little scared, but you're with me, so it'll be okay, right? Yeah, leave it to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. So that seems like a pretty good this seems like a good point to stop for today, actually, so we got to progress a little bit more with the story and whatnot, so next we will be heading to the mausoleum. So look forward to that. I'll probably stream this, I'm not sure. I might stream again on Thursday. Don't know quite yet, but I've made like a pretty good pace here so far, so that's good. So we'll check out the mausoleum next time and for now, see you guys later, and I'll probably be back Thursday. I'm pretty busy this weekend, but we shall see. Okay guys, have a great afternoon.